The Man With No Name is one of the most iconic characters in cinema history. Since narrative storytelling and motion picture entertainment took off, we have seen plenty of memorable characters in movies. Ranging from a variety of different representations, from superheroes to cops, martial artists, athletes, soldiers, science fiction, etc. But despite how cool a character is or how great their attributes and talents are, I would argue the most important thing in regards to a great character is their image. Why characters like John Rambo, Bruce Lee, Robin Hood, Alita, Paul Kersey, or Hugh Jackman's Wolverine, to name some, all get it right, while others, despite being really good, are not as memorable? And that's what we're going to take a closer look at, deconstruct and break down why the man with no name was such an impeccable character and why he is the greatest badass to ever grace the silver screen. This man with no name is played by Clint Eastwood. He's going to trigger a whole new style in adventure. First introduced in the 1964 film A Fistful of Dollars, directed by Sergio Leone, the man with no name was an American cowboy bounty hunter that was active before and after the time of the American Civil War. The character is a tall, very tough, independent outsider skilled with a gun. Personified by actor Clint Eastwood, the character was improvised entirely, personally making the initial investment for his character's entire look and demeanor. A Fistful of Dollars was Clint Eastwood's first leading role in his acting career, and got inspiration for his character from Japanese filmmaker Akira Kurosawa's 1961 film Yujimbo, of a mysterious ronin character that was a master swordsman. Most of A Fistful of Dollars' story was inspired a lot from this film. Clint Eastwood wanted his character to be distinctive and a contrast to the classic American cowboy in Hollywood. In the 1950s and 60s, Western was the most popular film genre genre in the cinematic landscape, known as the Golden Age of the Western. However, in most typical American Western movies, all the characters, especially the heroes, were clean, attractive, wore fresh clothing, and were always glamorized in a positive light. While The Man With No Name is a dirty, gritty, emotionless, and violent character, Eastwood thought the Hollywood cowboy was a stagnant and dull concept, and wanted to create a new flavor and unique kind of movie character, a persona that was realistic and painted in an honest light as a whole. Eastwood wanted to create a character that was mysterious, but you have no idea who he is and where he comes from, and it is up to the audience member to piece together information and determine the character for themselves. Eastwood wanted his character to be lean and soft-spoken with dialogue. Director Sergio Leone agreed with Eastwood's creative choices, and he for one strongly felt that dialogue in film should only be used to add wit. Because movies are narratives told through moving images, and what the audience is seeing on screen is what ultimately counts more than anything, as well as the execution of diegetic and non-diegetic sound and scoring. One of the main reasons the man with no name is a badass is the character is a little of a satire. Though most of the character's persona and actions could be argued in a positive light, in reality the man with no name is an absolute that's only out for his own gain. Hence most of the titles of the films the character has appeared in with the word dollars. The character's goal is for his own monetary gain and doesn't really care about anything else, anybody else, or any circumstances he comes across or gets pulled into. Tell me why you're doing this for us. Five hundred dollars? As I mentioned earlier, the character is a contrast to the American cowboy, as well as the hero of a story. Most particular American cowboy characters wore white hats with bright colored clothes, carried shiny guns, and do the normal things a hero would normally do, which is do what's best as it sounds, have good morals, and most of their bad actions are justifiable. While the man with no name is an opposite, he wears a battered brown hat instead of a white one, he wears rugged clothing, a poncho, carries a used 45 revolver, and is a morally ambiguous character, where a character's intentions may seem good for one moment and evil another. In other words, the man with no name is a character that isn't necessarily good, but he isn't really bad either. You're 
In the art of filmmaking, there are many ways to tell a story. The top two most common forms are plot-driven and character-driven. A plot-driven movie is where the plot or the title alone is the entire story and the characters play as passives, secondaries, and devices. While character-driven is where the plot is born organically from the characters themselves, where the character or characters are the cornerstone of the entire story. I would argue the best form of telling a motion picture story are character-driven, because they are the most engaging. The Man With No Name is a driven character that pushes everything on his own volition, and not only does the character push the stories, but he is also very active, while mixing in a lot of emotions by default. And the way the character does this is because he is placed into constant events of choices. Although the man with no name plays a major role, he always ends up having to choose a side, good or bad. And as an audience member, he really challenges you, because the character can go either way, and you don't know how they are going to react to a certain event, and making it impossible to predict the story, resulting with some intense, compelling, and powerful moments. Why do you do this for us? Why? Because I knew someone like you once. There was no one there to help. I'll get moving. The Man With No Name expressed a new kind of mood for cinema, as well as expressing a new American life. For example, when most characters in movies kill, normally we see the emotion, the pain, suffering, and guilt from the characters with or without experience. Clint Eastwood's character painted an image where it doesn't matter if a character has high principles or not, and the man with no name is an unprincipled killer. At the time, the character received great backlash from critics that the character was a glamorization of violence. However, audiences loved and praised the character for its genuine originality. In spite of this dark attribute of the character, the man with no name only kills when it suits the situation. The character's violence is over-exaggerated, and that is the point. Because the character is, at heart, a tongue-in-cheek satire of the cinema cowboy. And what makes the man with no name so exceptional is that he trains and earns his strength. He is a product of hard work and follows a sensible code of honor. And what makes him such an amazing hero is due to the tribulations, torture, and mistreatments he goes through. At first glance, you think this character rightfully deserves to be punished because he's immoral, often villainous, and only cares about himself. But just like that, the negative images of this emotionless killer begins to fade away into something positive and likable. It's pretty complex, but when the character's punishments are over, he turns into a character of redemption and does what he can to correct his mistakes and as an audience member, you want him to succeed. Kind of like a spiritual ritual where the character has to answer for the wrongs he's done and gain the audience's respect. Because realistically, it doesn't matter who the man with no name was or what he did before. All that matters is who he is and what he does now. And when we start to get more inside his head and understand the truth, he is a character that does take responsibility and does have genuine feelings about other people around him and the injustice being done to them. That he is not simply a killer looking out for himself and collecting dirty money for his own pleasure. He is, at heart, an honorable and wonderful person at the same time. And leads by example with his body language, intelligence, and force of will. And that's what makes Eastwood's character so awesome. He's motivated and driven, but not in a fashion you're normally familiar with or expect. When a man with a 45 meets a man with a rifle, you said the man with the pistol is a dead man. Let's see if that's true. Go ahead, load up and shoot. The Man With No Name is an indefinable character that is arguably the best in American culture. A vengeful, solitary specimen that keeps grinding, never a wasted moment, putting in the hard work to improve and learn. The character has continued to stand the test of time. He's as entertaining and holds up better than most as when he was first introduced to audiences. 
The man with no name paved the way for a new kind of character in cinema, transcending filmmaking, pop culture, and turned Clint Eastwood into one of the most potent filmmakers. Clint Eastwood didn't play a badass, he invented it. You see, in this world, there's two kinds of people, my friend. Those with loaded guns, and those who dig. You dig. <laughs> 